Good, Good morning, morning Grizzlies. My name is Daisy Patricio. And my name is Daniela Sanchez. And these are your morning announcements. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your, Put right, your hand right hand over your heart. Ready, ready to begin. begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's go back to Julie Fan for today's weather. Hi Julie, is it going to be cooler this weekend? Thanks Daisy and Daniela. It is getting a bit cooler this weekend, but weather today is still hotter with a high of 92. This weekend, look for a slight cooling trend with temps continuing in the mid 80s. Hopefully, it will start to feel a little more like fall next week. Now, back to you two. Thank you, Julie. The New Floricanto Club is having their first meeting this Monday, the 19th at 3 p.m. They will discuss topics such as people of color and discrimination, forming justice systems, and in the following weeks, create altars for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. The classroom code to join is here. Wondering what a pandemic yearbook looks like? Follow our staff on Instagram today. Our handle is GFHSX Yearbook. And don't forget to reserve your copy today at johnstisyearbook.com. Payment plans are available with no interest. This is a book you won't want to miss. And seniors, create your own space in the yearbook today. Senior ads are now on sale. One fourth of the page is $50. One half of the page is $100. And Full page is $150. Create your own page at justinsyearbook.com. Now stay tuned for a news report on pandemic hobbies by our very own Cynthia Santiago and Daniel Orozco. According to an Instagram poll, many students became interested in makeup, styling, cooking, and painting. Here are some activities these fellow Grizzlies have picked up to keep busy. Senior Emmanuel Rodriguez speaks about his new hobbies, voice acting, and animation. I do this every single day. It's fun, and I get to learn from it. Like, what should I improve, or what do I need to fix in the animation, or voice acting, and for, like, what should it be for the final product? I will continue on doing voice acting and animation after the quarantine's over because I want to do it for a future job or a career. This is just the beginning. I just hope I can accomplish one of them and um, have fun. Here we have a fellow Grizzly who has found herself doing painting and sign language to keep busy during this quarantine. Throughout quarantine, it would be like a daily hobby that I would do and like I'd spend most of my time doing that. But now with school and all, I'm pretty like busy. So I do like when never have free time, and I also use it as a way to like de stress and like not really stress over school. I think I've like come pretty good at both of them, and it's something like I want to keep doing just so like I don't have something to do. For the Grizzlies News Network. This is Cynthia Santiago and Daniel Orozco. Now that's it for today, Grizzlies. Enjoy your weekend and don't forget to think Godinez.